Hello and welcome back to Chinmoy's Biology Channel to a brand new episode of Reproduction in Humans Revision Paper Part 2. So let's get started with today's uh, revision paper without further delay. I think you have gone through the previous revision paper and I, if you have not gone through that, I am putting the link below in the description box as well. So today's episode also will be a quite interesting one. So don't skip in between. Keep on learning throughout the video and you will be knowing many important questions as well as answers. So let's get started. So the first one in long answer type question is what is it? Define the term metamorphosis. Briefly describe the various stages occurring in the life cycle of a butterfly. So first we will discuss what is metamorphosis, a change in the form and often the habits of an animal during normal development after embryonic stage, complete transformation from an immature form to an adult form in two or more distinct stages is called metamorphosis okay now the life cycle of a butterfly is what the butterfly lays its egg on the leaves of a plant the newborn that comes out of the egg is called the larva it passes through various stages of development the larva of the butterfly is called the caterpillar so this is what you are writing the life cycle of a butterfly it is very active it is very voracious it feeds and moves actively and gains size so when this is growing it is very much voracious it keeps on eating so many leaves it is a voracious eater it feeds and it moves actively and it gains in size then what happens now then this is the life cycle you can see it is on the leaves the eggs are there egg is formed to the it is forming caterpillar it is then forming this is uh, chrysalis so egg larva pupa and this one is from the pupa the adult is uh, growing so this is the adult butterfly so this is the diagram the life cycle diagram so this will be a life cycle of butterfly diagram okay this is life cycle diagram so you should draw this now it stops moving and eating and it is called pupa so when it is forming pupa it is stopping to eat and moving it is the resting stage the pupa is spinning thread outside the covering it is called a cocoon so this stage is the cocoon stage this cocoon covers the pupa and is protective in function during this stage it forms the features of adult so inside this cocoon only it is forming all the features of adult okay and after attending adulthood the pupa comes out of the cocoon and becomes it breaks it forms a bottle but adult butterfly the wings of the butterfly are beautiful wrinkled and soft and after an hour these are fully stretched and it starts flying so isn't it a very beautiful life cycle so this metamorphosis process is very beautiful indeed so here you can see it's voracious eater after that it stops eating it starts growing into the adult form it starts growing the feature to an adult form and then it breaks open to form adult so it's a very interesting life process so we should uh, know this and learn this in your as it is in your curriculum and i feel it is very interesting topic as well and you all should know this now let us move on to the next part so next question is what is fertilization and describe the process of fertilization in humans okay so we have told it earlier just you go through it what is fertilization and i have also discussed the process here so as male performs the sexual act with a female and as a result of the semen is deposited in the vagina of the female the semen has millions of sperms i have told earlier so many questions and break up in short in define the following in differences between we are discussing the same topic so only few are uh, able to reach the upper part of the oviduct if there is an egg in the oviduct it is fertilized by the sperm and as sperm enters the egg and this leads to the formation of zygote this act is called fertilization so during fusion only the head part of the sperm which has a nucleus enters the egg the tail is left behind and the nucleus of the sperm and the eggs they fuse together to form a zygote such this zygote uh, is called um, embryo and which reaches and implants on the wall of uterus we have studied that implantation we all know and it forms the fetus and baby uh, delivered after 280 days so this is the gestation period so after this the baby is uh, delivered okay is it clear now we will move on to the next part question so here comes the next question that how does a single uh, called fertilized egg grows into an adult human being so 
uh, how the fertilized egg or a zygote it divides and redivides and forms a ball of cells so this kind of embryo it reaches the uterus it gets attached to the uterus wall that process of fixing the embryo is called implantation which we have studied earlier now the embryo undergoes a process that is specialization of cells which leads to the formation of different parts of the body so this in higher classes you will study this embryology part in details in your class just you remember that after implantation they undergo different um, different different parts of the body is formed that is called differentiation and it leads to the formation of various tissues and other organs and organ systems are formed as well now organic uh, this organ system leads to the formation of an individual and thus the zygote forms an embryo okay it forms a baby and it forms an adult so this is how the the journey from a zygote to an adult is happening so how is the journey formed first implantation is happening then differentiation is happening then different organs and organ systems are formed and the zygote forms an embryo it forms a baby and it forms an adult right now let let us move on to the next question so here comes a question that tabulate the important physical changes in boys and girls that take place in puberty so this is a very big question and answer i think it will not come for you uh, but just for a general revision paper a format i have given you so reproductive system of boys and girls mature at the age of puberty puberty starts at 10 in girls and 11 in boys testes and large in boys and breasts develop in girls the following table shows physical changes in boys and girls during puberty so in the next slide we will see the changes now testes become large scrotal sac grows and penix become long length increases shoulder girdle becomes more uh, uh, broad now hair grows on chest armpits and on sex organs facial hair and mustaches grow voice becomes hoarse and deep so these are the changes for boys and girls breast becomes large ovaries become large and they release eggs size of the uterus and the vagina grows menstrual cycle starts and sudden growth uh takes place in length hip girdle becomes tra uh, trough shaped and it is larger than the shoulder shoulder girdle so in uh, men what is happening the shoulder girdle becomes uh, broader it grows but in um, girls what happens the a uh, shoulder girdle is uh, narrow in in uh, compared to the hip girdle so hip girdle grows much more than the shoulder girdle so chest and abdomen do not have hair but hair arises on sex organs and armpits no mustaches and facial hair but high pitch voice so uh, the voice in uh, male or boys it becomes hoarse and deep whereas in girls it becomes um, high pitch right so let us move on to the next question now this is a very important question this is very important question that adolescence is a crucial stage justify the statement so why it is called a crucial stage now during adolescence physical emotional changes take place in boys as well as girls because several hormonal changes are happening in your body so this period is between 10 to 19 and this is a very crucial period of your Uh, body brain and all development so boys be a facial hair muscular body hair in armpits and on the sex organs and have hoarse voices whereas the girls also have a beautiful contour raised breasts breasts white hips and high pitched voice so the body increases in length in both cases both in boys and girls and they become conscious about the growth of their body they become hesitant and shy to each other they become body conscious and spend a lot of time dressing up and grooming so hormonal level increases in their body and they become restless so this is what is happening so it is a very crucial ch uh, change your body is going through so you should be aware and you should uh we you should stay alert of all the changes which are going on in your body and it is a normal process from childhood to adulthood this phase of transformation is adolescence you all know that and it is a beautiful phase though it is a crucial phase and you need to take care of your body in a different manner okay so there is nothing to worry about there is nothing to uh, become uh, so much conscious about your body Uh, but you do feel that you are conscious about your body you start taking care of your body dressing up and grooming more so these are the uh, the changes which your body are going through so this is how you can justify this statement right so we will now move on to the next answer
so here comes the last question of your this long answer type question that describe the human reproductive system with a label diagram and this is a female reproductive system human female reproductive system and with all its labelings and now we will discuss, describe it so on each side of the uterus there are two white oval bodies uh, these are ovaries okay these oval bodies are ovaries eggs are produced in the ovaries nearer to the ovaries there lies an expanded funnel shaped oviducts or fallopian tubes now the eggs go into the oviducts when released by ovaries the two oviducts open into the uterus and the walls of the uterus are muscular okay now the growing embryo lodges into the wall and this this process is called we have studied earlier this is called implantation when the growing um, embryo is uh, getting implanted into the wall of the uterus now it is uh, supplied by food blood through the placenta which is in connection between the embryo and the mother so we have so we know that placenta is the connection now which is created between the baby and the mother so uterus joins into the vagina it is the vagina in which the semen is lodged during the sexual act from here the sperms go up into the oviduct and fertilize the egg the urethra which brings the urine from the urinary bladder opens into the vulva just in front of the vaginal opening so this is all about the female reproductive system and the diagram also i have explained here so we have done a quick revision in two different episodes of reproductive system in humans so next i will be discussing about transport of food and minerals in uh, your revision paper next uh, lesson revision paper so stay tuned till then subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share it with your friends as well and in the next episode only i'll do a revision of transport of food and minerals for 8th icsc students okay so stay tuned stay updated and keep learning with all the videos i am posting so thank you thanks a lot for watching my videos